Hi there guys, um, welcome back to another media book collection video of mine. Um, this time we will be going through my Cape Light media books. Yep, once again another German label. Um, yeah, very good, uh, a well respected and um, trusted label. They put out a lot of good stuff. Not all horror, um, they do put out a few horror titles here and there but they dabble in a bit of every everything. Um, uh, whenever they do put a media book out on the market, it's usually very well priced. It's it, they're, they're a bit more affordable than other labels out there, which is um, appreciated. But they're not always English friendly, particularly particularly with their foreign releases of non-English films. So you have to be careful what you buy. But anyway, keep light. Um, let's get started. Uh, the first of them is the John Carpenter classic Assault on Precinct Fet. Precinct 13, um, you all know about this one, classic, it's, it never gets old, um, it, it's a brilliant film, well worth watching if you haven't seen it yet, which is very surprising if you haven't, so there you go, Assault on Precinct 13. Next up, we have the low budget classic from the 50s, The Blob, the original with Steve McQueen, um, it hasn't aged very well to be honest, and it, it's not a great film, but it's it's nice to have in the collection because I got the uh, the Blob remake from the 80s in the media book um, Elsewhere, um, which is a brilliant film, one of the best from the 80s, I really enjoyed that one So it's nice to have the pair of them in the collection on Blu-ray So that's uh, the Blob Next up we have the, um, the Supernatural uh, Western uh, High Plains Drifter with um, Clint Eastwood, who also directed it This is a, a brilliant film, if you haven't seen it it's quite ambiguous to the uh, to the character of um, Clint Eastwood. He's a, once again he's a man with no name, but the way he drifts on the screen like out of nowhere is really spooky. Um, if you haven't seen this film, it's well worth watching. And this media it's media book's got a nice gritty effect to it, like it's been weathered in the um, in the harsh desert wastelands. It's really nicely done. Um, there's no special features on this particular release, which is a shame because I think all all releases up until now are bare bones. It would have been nice to have a commentary or a making of at least, because it's one of my favourite westerns, and it's got a supernatural edge to it as well. So that's High Plains Drifter. Next up, we have The Boy, which I thought was really good. Um, not everybody loved it or liked it even, but I did. It's worth staying a distance with. So that's The Boy. Really nice cover there, it's got like an old school vintage book cover. Uh, next we have Before I Wake, another decent supernatural film. Um, from a couple of years ago, it's got Tom Jane in it. It's a good watch, I thought. Decent. Uh, next up we have the Reanimator films, or the first two. We have Reanimator, beautiful artwork there. Um, this has been released in many uh, different... Um, territories in lots of co different collector's editions, steelbooks and digipacks, but I'll stick with my uh, lovely media book here. This is actually my first media book purchase. This is the one that started it all, the obsession. So there you go, Reanimator. You all know about this one. And The Bride of Reanimator. Not as good as the first, but once again, a nice pair to have. I, I would like Beyond Reanimator. Um, on Blu-ray at some point, because I do, I, I did enjoy that one as well. So there you go, there's Bride of the Animator. Next up we have the absolutely crazy rubber. Um, wow. yeah, you'll never see a film like this again, it's just absolutely bizarre. But, uh, mesmerising at the same time, you just want to see where it ends up. It's got a great soundtrack, which does come included with this release on uh, CD. Uh, so that's rubber. Won't be for everyone that one. Moving on, we have the um, absolute beast of an edition. This is Hardcore Henry. Um, really um, crazy action film. It's, it's filmed in a POV perspective, so there's a lot of shaky cam going on. And it's hard to make out at times what's actually ta taking place, but it's very bloody, ultra violent. Not really horror, but it's got a real vicious brutal side to it but it's it's all in good fun it's all it's all good natured doesn't take itself seriously and um it comes with a nice thick media book um 
Most of it is taken up by a comic book, which focuses on the main antagonist of the film, who's an absolutely vicious guy, absolutely ruthless in the film he is. And um, it also comes with a soundtrack CD. So that's Hardcore Henry. Moving on, we have the British made um, The Seasoning House, which is uh, really hard hitting stuff. It's, it's a bit savage in places about, um, it's set during the Balkans war in um, a house that's used by soldiers, um, well, as a whorehouse, to put it bluntly. And this, this mute girl is in there amongst them, hoping for her freedom one day. And um, so yeah, that's a season house. Very good film. And next we have the really enjoyable werewolf movie, British once again. I really like this. This one got a lot of uh, f uh, flack. Yeah, not everybody liked it, but I did. I thought it was decent. Uh, this is Howl. Okay, we have a few more which I will grab now, which are in other areas of my collection. I'll grab them now for convenience sake. All bundled down here. Uh, first of those being, we have Old Boy, the uh, Korean uh, masterpiece. Um, this is English friendly as well. You do get English subs on this one. That's Old Boy. Um, we have here The Edge, Anthony Hopkins and Alec Baldwin. This is a good one, a good survival in the wilderness film. I enjoyed that one from 1995 or 96 or 97. One. Mid 90s film. Um, not remembered. Um, kind of forgotten one, but it's worth a look if you haven't seen it. So that's The Edge. Um, we have the excellent Romper Stomper, Australian skinhead film. This is probably my favourite skinhead movie out there. Really, really good. Really enjoyed this one. Uh, Russell Crowe, superb in it. So that's Romper Stomper. And lastly, we have The Passion of the Christ. Um, amazing film. I did enjoy this one. Um, you get two cuts of the film on here, um, one of which softens down the um, the whipping scene, which is absolutely one of the most brutal scenes I've ever seen in a film. It is really hard to watch. And you also get the beautiful soundtrack on CD as well. So that's The Passion of the Christ. And that concludes my, um, my collection video today, which focused on my Cape Light Media books. Um, hope you enjoyed. Once again, any questions, leave a comment below, or if you know me on Facebook, just uh, send me a message over there. Alright guys, you take care now. Bye.